You ask how the weather is in Arizona. That is a hard question to answer. There's all kinds of climate from the San Francisco mountains in the area that is called Flagstaff to the east. But I will tell you, near as I can, what the weather is in Phoenix. Sweatville! <laughs> if a man gets up at 3 o'clock a.m. and sits perfectly still in some open spot where he can get the advantage of whatever breeze there might be without a rag on, he can be comfortable. <laughs> he will not sweat, but understanding he has got to stay perfectly still. <laughs> if he moves his toes, they will be covered in perspiration. <laughs> he must not blink more than once in 15 minutes. If he speaks, the sweat will ooze out of his neck as if it was filled with water and covered only with a cloth strand. If he thinks too hard, the sweat will come out all over his head. Now, if a man sticks to the above rule, he will be middling comfortable for just one hour, and then it starts to get warm. Hot, scorching, heating, red hot, no, white hot. The men here never wear jackets or vests, just thin pants and a cotton shirt. You walk ten steps in the hot sun here, you will perspire more than any racehorse after he has trotted his mild heat. <laughs> it is a serious offense here to joke a man in the middle of the day. A good hearty laugh will overheat a man's blood, <laughs> causing his death. <laughs> the thermometer goes up to 108 degrees in the shade without a breath of air. And I don't think the thing works right. I think. It is near 150 degrees. <laughs> Here sleeps in the house too hot for man or beast or mouse. You soak your sheets to cool them off, or take a dunk in a horse's trough. Then settle down and close your eyes, only to wake and realize your bed is filled with fire rats. They're in your nose, your ears, and hands. You leap and fuss and curse and dance and curse your wretched Verdict came in that the aforesaid man died because of heat and rock. 